guys, I'm Lego Weather Boy, and for the last 15 years, it has been amazing. So, here are some frequently asked questions that I've had for the last 15 years. How long have you played Roblox? Well, in 2010, I started um, playing Roblox as a Roblox guest. Then in 2011, I created my very first Roblox account on February 23rd, 2011. And, and then that's when I started playing Roblox a lot, and that was um, when um, I played Natural Disaster Survival uh, a lot. Uh, it was a pretty good game. I also played Work at a Pizza Place too. Those are, you know, like classic Roblox games, and, you know, um, so yeah. In 2014, I started playing um, games like Prison Life and um, Murder Mystery 2. Those were pretty good games. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm Bloxburg too. Um, so, um, next level is uh, in 2017, I started playing Jailbreak. And that, that was the actual year when Jailbreak came out. And I was really interested in Jailbreak from 2017 until now. So, yeah, um, so, yes, so, the interesting thing about Jailbreak is that you get to, you know, like, rob things, and, you know, like, grind for cars, and, um, you know, Volt Bike, and, um, the OG Bugatti, the, um, the, um, Torpedo, yeah, those are, like, good vehicles. In 2018, I created my second Roblox account called Lego Weather Boy, and it was the account that I use, still use today. This was an alt account, but um, but now it's my main account since in uh, January or February of 2020, or I would say March, um, to be more realistic, or I think more accurate, um, that was probably when my... Um, First Roblox account was um, unfortunately hacked. That was my um, Lego Ninja Boy account. I'm still friends with my old account on my alt account, yes. So in 2020, um, around October 2020, that was when I started another new channel called Lego Weather Boy, previously Lego Ninja Boy. And my first video was um, um, published on October 1st, 2020 approximately one year before um, Disney's World's um, 50th anniversary, that would have been the 49th anniversary, so yeah, I did make a video on the 50th anniversary, so yeah. So um, that's when in 2021 I started, um, started um, pl playing more new games, like I started creating more new games, like um, this on November 7th of 2021, I created a new game called Cart Ride into Lego Weather Boy. It's when, you know, you go on a cart, and if, you, like, if, you, if you're going too fast, then your cart will just be flying off the track. And, yeah, so it's a pretty good game. Um, you know, I was uh, supposed to um, release the game um, around 2020, um, I think around April of 2020, but I couldn't get the carts to work. Um, they would just always, you know, like, fly off, even if I'm going slow. But yeah, they were off the track, and I, I could, I finally scripted them the, the correct way. All right, so in um, around June of 2021, I um, finished, um, I finished um, uh, um, future games that were going to be coming out um, shortly. But yeah. So here's the second question. What what kind of schooling do you use? Well, for um for um when I was in kindergarten, I used Calvert School and it was pretty good, I would say. I think I uh did Calvert School all the way up till second grade. Um I was second grade around uh 2014 or 2015, I don't know. But um yeah. So, um, in 2015 or 16, I skipped to, um, fifth grade, and, uh, that's when in, uh, tw in 2018, that's when I 
went off to seventh grade in middle school. Then in uh, 20, um, 20, 2020, that was when um, I went to high school. In August of 2020, that was when I went to high school. Uh, that was ninth grade. And then in 2021, I, in um, September of 2021, I am now in um, 10th grade out of 12th grade, and I'm supposed to graduate from high school in um, 2024, and I will be off in college. So, yeah. Um, so, the schooling programs I've... So, the schooling programs after seventh, um, um, second grade was um, Abeka, Abeka Academy from Pensacola, Florida. Um, that was a pretty... Pretty good schooling program, however, um, I would get like quizzes, t exams, and a lot of stuff really often. Um, so yeah, it was kind of challenging. So that was like 2015, and then in, um, and then in 2019, that was when um, I stopped using a Becker Academy. In August of 2020, that was when I started using Acellus. Acellus was a Nice, pretty sc good schooling program with um, videos that are pretty much less than 10 minutes. Some of them are more than, more than 10 minutes, but they're mostly less than 20 minutes. Like, Abeka was like um, like almost an hour of school. So, yeah. I did, yeah. So, um, when I... It was kind of... Um, that some, some of the exams were kind of hard. Some of the questions were kind of hard. Some of them were probably untrue questions, like they were probably taken from Wikipedia or something, but, uh, yeah, it's, but, um, Acellus is still a pretty good schooling program from Kansas City, Missouri. So, that's, um, so I still use uh, use Acellus up until this day, um, as of the time of, um, making this video, I am almost done with my, um, geometry final exam. It, it's like a hundred questions, and it's like, Oh my, that's going to be really hard. So, but don't worry, I've gotten most of them right. And, um, yeah, like I had to do like surface area, volume, and um, stuff like that. Um, y equals mx plus b, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. Oh yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah. When did you start playing Minecraft? Minecraft. So, um, 2009 is when I started Minecraft, but I didn't actually play it, like, every single day, like I do, like, pretty much now. Uh, I only played it frequently, um, yeah, so, um, uh, so that I started Minecraft in 2009, and I was pretty young at the time. Uh, that's when I had, I had my, my, one of my parents with me, uh, you know, like, supervising me and stuff. Yeah. What did you do on Roblox in 2016? Well, um, in 2016, that was when I started playing Roblox more on my like a Ninja Boy account. Well, that was my main account from 2011 until 2020. So, um, yeah, I played a lot of games like Bloxburg, Prison Life, stuff like that. Um, yeah. 2017, I didn't re really play Mad City as much because I noticed that the publishing date was after Jailbreak, so they pro probably copied Jailbreaks. And I noticed some of the sound IDs from the developer console was actually IDs from Badimo. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, in 2018, it was probably one of the best years of Roblox. Um, I apparently love the Ready Player One event, and Jailbreak was one of the games that was a participator in that event, which was um, absolutely cool, yes. In 2019, um, I, there, was, uh, a, there was a really cool event in like spring of 2019, almost said 2020 or 2021, I don't know, okay, so, and Twenty spring of 2019, that was when we had the pizza party event, and that was one of the best events I've ever experienced. It, you get to like shoot um, pizzas at people, it was like so funny with the uh, community pizza launcher. Uh, a lot of games, were, a lot of popular games were actually a participator. Sadly, Joe Break wasn't a participator, but the 
games um, that were participating that I pretty much know today is Color Crushers 2 and Work at a Pizza Place. And I think there was probably another one, but I don't know. Um, so, in t um, on July 12th of 2019, I made my second alt account called Lego Waterboy Class. It had C-L-A-S at the end instead of C L. ASS Roblox probably didn't allow me due to a swear word being in it. Um, I'm not gonna say it because that would result me uh, putting the um, video to um, age restricted. So yeah, all right. So all right. What kind of cool birthday cakes have you had? Well, um, when I was two and five, I had the same cake. I think that was one time. I had like a peanuts cake. Um, no, not like um, peanuts like the, you know, food. It's peanuts like Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and, and you know, that's a really popular show that my father watched as a kid. And yeah. In 2013, I had a Pac-Man cake. Um, I was interested in Pac-Man um, in 2013. Um, but I'm still kind of um, interested in Pac-Man right now, um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. 2016 was probably one of my best cakes I ever had. It was a Lego cake, and um, and my mom actually uh, had trouble making the cake, but I actually loved it. It was uh, so nice. Um, I actually got like three um, Lego sets that were like on the display of my cake and we had to like, you know, wash up the Legos and get all that cake um, frosting off and, you know, yeah, so it was a really cool cake, but yes, so it's probably going to still be my best cake as of right now. I think 2015 or 2017, no, I believe it was 2015, I had a SimCity Build-It cake and it was basically, um, SimCity was one of the popular electronic, electronic arts, um, games, um, SimCity build, it's only on the mobile platform, uh, like iOS and Android, um, but SimCity 3000 and stuff like that were basically PC games and, you know, like, City Skylines were actually, um, they were, it's probably a good game, I've never played it before, but I've been interested in SimCity because it's by the um, same company who made The Sims and my mom was interested in that before I was even born. Have you had any um, gaming updates? Well, um, the current gaming setup I have right now um, has been um, the same setup since two November of 2020. That was approximately one year ago. The only difference I had was adding a um, Logitech G gaming keyboard to um, my collection. So I would, so I think it was much easier to play Jailbreak on that gaming keyboard rather than like my laptop keyboard and stuff. I may actually get um, another uh, gaming computer maybe sometime in the future, but I don't know. So um, it, the, I'm getting a gaming computer due to um, some of the Roblox games I play having bad FPS and, you know, stuff like that. It's nothing about the internet. The ping is all mostly um, low, like mostly under 30, which is cool. Because I actually have an expensive router. Um, costs over $100, so yeah. Uh, um, so if you're wondering... Uh, when did I get my um, laptop computer? I got it on my birthday in 2019 when I officially t uh, turned 13 as a teenager. Um, it was it was a really c nice computer. Uh, I've, I'm still using it as of the time of making this video, but yeah, I'm I've always have it plugged in in case you know if it like runs. Battery goes down a lot when it's like when I'm playing Roblox because Roblox has like a lot of power usage like you know it just runs your computer battery down. Now before that, um, what platform did I play for Roblox? Well, I played on Android from um, 2014 until um, 2019. Sometimes I would be on the PC platform if I'm like making games and stuff and I like some. And if I'm like playing some games that are really hard on mobile, then I'll just play on P PC. I was on a, a 
in 2014 until um, something around 2015 or 16. I was playing Roblox on a Windows XP on PC. Uh, we um, we still have that PC, but uh, apparently it took it the um, the um, so some of the um, parts in the computer are not there on top of the PC, and um, we stored it in the garage now, so it's like useless PC probably. But while we were in the process of um, trying to change computers, I played on a um, Dell Inspiron uh, Mini computer with Windows XP, and it was a really good computer. Uh, it was really good. Really good at handling Roblox and stuff. We still have that computer, but, um, I mean, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a red, com it's a red Dell computer, and apparently, um, support ended in, like, 2014, uh, but, uh, yeah, I put it, I was still playing on Windows XP at the time. So, the new, um, um, PC, uh, that, um, we got, uh, it was a, uh, I, I don't know what you call it, but I think it was a, one of the, it's a Dell Towers. One of those Dell Towers, it's not an, oops, um, it, was, it was not an Inspiron, it wasn't an XPS, nothing like that. It was some sort of computer, uh, I don't know. But that had Windows 7, and uh, in 2020 we upgraded that to Windows 10, so because um, computers were having some issues with Windows 7, so yeah. What operating system do you have now? Well, on my laptop, I actually have Windows 11. In April of 2021, I had Windows um, 10X. No, I think it was like 2020. I think, yeah. Um, in 2019, I had Windows 10, then upgraded to Windows X. So it was a beta version of Windows 11. And then now, and today, I'm on Windows 11. And I get a pretty good amount of FPS and stuff and Roblox and stuff. So, yeah. I think I'm just talking and rambling and stuff. So for the last um, uh, almost 10 years, I've been living in a brand new home in the suburban area, and um, it's a really nice house. Um, the house was like built in like 2010 or 2011. Yeah, it's not pretty that old, but yeah. Um, so we actually moved from our old neighborhood to our neighborhood, and uh, I think it was like late spring of 2012 and you know it's kind of interesting but once we moved in here there were like not a lot of houses around here um in 2012 and 2013 2014 all the way and so forth we had um houses being built behind our house behind the backyard i mean so yeah i think our neighborhood's probably completed now and you know um our neighborhood was started construction in like 2007 or 2008, um, but they were just like cutting down trees and you know flattening out the surface so you know if it, like so you can put houses and stuff. So um, it was um, it might have been a farm field and I think where the our house is right now it was trees and stuff. So yeah, around the front of the neighborhood was like. Um, empty grass and stuff, no trees and any or anything, according to um, Google Earth. Apparently, for um, I think oh, since 2011, I've been my favorite games are like uh, Minecraft and Roblox, and yeah, they're both pretty good games. Um, really interesting games. So yeah, I, I I still play Minecraft though. I just don't make a lot of videos on Minecraft anymore. I don't know why, but I think it was probably due to that the recordings uh, decreasing a lot of FPS on Minecraft. So yeah, I'm just gonna gonna try to make more Minecraft videos sometime in the future. So yeah, all right. Um, I hope I'm not rambling. When did you start playing Five Nights at Freddy's? I've only played the original one, and I started playing the original one in 2014, and then, and then after 2014, I quit it. Then in um, October of 2021, that's when I returned to Five Nights at Freddy's seven years later, and that's when uh, I've noticed a little bit of changes since the last time I played it, uh, like before um, I started returning again. I 
I noticed that the main menu music is now like new, remastered and stuff, and some of the bugs are fixed, and yeah. When was the first time you ever bought Builders Club? Well, it was kind of, it's well as of 2019, it was now called Roblox Premium, but I don't know why I still call it Builders Club. It's because I'm used to Builders Club and stuff. I think 2011 is when I first got Builders Club on Roblox. Before I had my computer, um, I was mostly playing on a Nintendo Switch um, and stuff, um, but I still kind of played Roblox on my Android tablet and stuff. Um, so um, before um, I actually. My second account joined a few days before our Nintendo Wii broke, um, and uh, I think it was like um, December uh, around 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, or 14th, I don't really know, but yeah, the, um, the, the problem was that this sensor was broken and we just had to throw it out, so it was, it was sad. Maybe sometime in the future we could get like a used Wii and stuff, I know... Getting used products may already be broken, but um, if I say refurbished, then that means um, they they've been brought back that was broken, and apparently the company fixed it. So the company who made it fixed it. So yeah. Are you doing another um, Hank Zebra versus Lego Water Boy live streams? They are going to be more in the future, but um, I don't really know uh, right now. But um, uh, I, uh, I think I friend in Hank Zebra around uh, j maybe January or February of 2020. Uh, been friends with him ever since, so yeah. My brother and sister have been interested in Roblox for a few years now, and um, as of right now, they've been playing Roblox with each other. All of us have, so yeah. When was the first time you made a YouTube video? Um, it was around 2014, I believe, when I uploaded my first video to YouTube. Um, it was on a different channel at the time, so, yeah. Has your room ever been updated? Well, um, if there were a few changes, um, to it. Um, in 2006, I was living, I was in a crib, because that was the year I was born. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, um... It's a crib from 2006 until 2010, and then for a surprise birthday gift when I was like four years old, I got a brand new bed, and apparently uh, we threw out that bed in 2019, because I was like too big for it. Now, now I got a loft bed now. So, um, I had a Peanuts room um, in 2000, uh, 2010, and up until, I think it was like two or three years I had the Peanuts room, but... Yeah, um, we had to, you know, like, get rid of Snoopy, that giant Snoopy head on the wall. Because, you know, um, probably the people who want to buy the house wouldn't want to pay for it. <laughs> pay for it for, like, having a giant Snoopy head on the wall. <laughs> yeah. In 2012, when I had a brand new room, it, it it's the same room I'm still using right now, um... Um, it wasn't that great. All the, all the walls were like brown, and like, do you think brown is boring? Because um, like when the house was constructed, um, most of the rooms were painted brown. The dining room, be bedroom, and um, master bedroom. I'm sorry, um, master bathroom and stuff like that. Um, they were painted green instead of brown. I don't know why. In 2013, uh, that was when my um, room got its first remodel, and I we remodeled it to a peanuts room, and um, we had that uh, had it that way from 2014. I'm sorry, 2013 to 2019. In 2019, there there were um, possibly a lot of changes that have gone on. We we removed the um, structures that were uh, f from Snoopy that were uh, on the walls. Uh, we had a Sn Snoopy house built in built onto the wall and it was like so hard to get it off and there was like a lot of holes and stuff and globs of paint and stuff behind the walls. So yeah, the walls were damaged but we um, fixed, repaired it. The tree was, uh, the tree uh, where um, I had wood stock in um, it was also removed, um, too, um, 
Um, we had it until 2019, and also did some damage to the walls. So yeah, so uh, that was a pretty nice thing. We we made it from uh, some old newspapers my father had that he doesn't read anymore. So yeah. So yeah, and uh, I think it was like May of 2019. That was when I. Uh, that's when we um, officially remodeled my room for a second time, and we tore tore down the um the Snoopy house and the tree with woodstock on the wall so we still have woodstock and the nest and stuff so don't worry hmm hmm yeah I wonder when did I get my loft bed I think it was about a month later I don't know I had an ingrown toenail um in May of 2019, it really hurt. We were shopping for beds and mattresses and stuff at the time. It was like every time I walk out, we'd be like, ow, ow, ow. It was like very painful. And yeah. So yeah, um, it, it took about uh, a few weeks to remodel the room. I was um, I was sleeping on a mat, a mat uh, on my mattress that I had on my bed. Um, and either my sister's room or, or maybe the bonus room or the, um, dark room. So, um, yeah. So, because we had wet paint all over the place and, you know, you don't want to get paint on me. So I'd be like a paint monster or something. <laughs> so we remodeled it to, you know, like an Alabama Crimson Tide room. Um, I've been interested in Alabama Crimson Tide. I've my father and my grandpa had, um, for a long time, and, you know, I've been interested in their football, so, yeah. Uh, that's the we model we still use today, so, yeah, there's not been any more changes. There were a few furniture changes, um, in, um, uh, in 2020 or 2021, I believe. I, the, the piano, I, my keyboard, I, that, uh, I got in like Christmas of 2016 or something. It was in the bonus room and then we I moved it back in here because that whole space was empty. And so, yeah. Um, on November 14th, 2021, that was uh, about two days ago at the time of um, I'm uploading this video, I, I moved my nightstand closer to my loft bed. Um, that was when I put up a um, white Christmas tree. Um, with um a little snowman on the top and it looks it looks nice. Um yeah, I'm probably decorating for Christmas early. <laughs> so yeah, my life um for the past um fifteen years has been uh pretty amazing. Um kindergarten I was in uh like I no, I think it was preschool I uh had mom's day out and stuff and yeah. Uh, my brother did mom's day out too. Um my sister didn't do it. My dad wanted her to do it, but my mom said, No! Don't! So, <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't be, I, I, don't be a screaming Karen soccer mom. No, no, my mom's not Karen soccer mom. She's like, I can speak to your manager. So, yeah, um, school has been um, pretty kind of challenging lately, but at least I'm getting the, the right answers correctly. Thank you.